What's up, everyone? It's Lacey Jane Brown here with Stefan Diggs. How are you doing? I'm awesome. Thanks for having me. I appreciate the time. Absolutely. So now that we have the Kelsey brothers in the Super Bowl, I have to ask you, would you rather play on the same team as Trayvon or play against him in the Super Bowl? I feel like uh, the competitor in me says against him, but in reality, because I love him so much, I would love to be on the same team and we get a Super Bowl and bring it, bring it home to our mom. It'll be that's the fairy tale, like, you know what I'm saying, I would much prefer. So. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. And I have to ask, Trayvon's son, Aiden, yeah. said that you were his favorite player. Mm -hmm. What's that relationship like with your nephew? Uh, my nephew means the world to me. Um, he's definitely my guy. He, I try to teach him everything I know. Uh, his, Trayvon does a great job as well, but I think he's going to be playing on offense, so he spends a little more time with me. Um, that's my guy, though, 100, 100 grand, man. I see him. I always bully him a little bit, trying to keep him tough. So, uh, you know, I love that. I love my nephew. I love that as well. That's so awesome. He's such a funny character. Yeah. Do you think he gets the humor from you or your brother? I would say me because my brother is actually kind of shy. So they say that, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. He acts like me, but my daughter acts like my uh, acts like my brother, like real shy, like won't talk much to people. Like, So it's kind of like it's kind of like a little flip flop. God, yeah. God knows what he's doing. Yeah, I love that. What's a funny story about Trayvon that most people wouldn't know? Uh, funny story. I got a lot of funny stories, but they usually all personal. Let me think of one. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I can't think of anything right now. something unique about him? Well, uh, he can juggle. I he can know. juggle? Don't, I, don't, I don't think people know that. My little brother can juggle. Really? Ask him to juggle next time you see him. He might be a little rusty, but yeah, he can juggle. Yeah, he's coming like on here, yeah, so he ask him juggle. to juggle. <laughs> All right, I'll have to do that. Who do you think is the better athlete, you or him? Um, probably him. He, he plays, he's played two positions right now. He got he to gotta get the credit. He played corner and receiver uh, throughout his whole time. Like me, I play receiver, so I feel like I could play corner too, but uh, he got it off of just what he's been done already. You know, so yeah. He showed it. That makes sense. And I have to ask you, so I went to every single stadium and I loved Bill's Mafia. Yeah, it was Them fun. breaking tables, yeah. just the whole experience, the mm -hmm. mustard and ketchup with Pinto <laughs> Rod. Uh, yeah. Have you ever, you're, you're an athlete on the team, but have you ever like actually been able to experience that atmosphere? No, nah, I've never seen it. I, uh, one of my goals is eventually, I mean, you win a Super Bowl, you'll have your own tailgate. Yeah. It'd be so cool to have a tailgate, be at a tailgate, have fun, and you know what I'm saying, not be able to have to play a game, you know, you can get it from a fan perspective so maybe one day yeah and when do you feel like the bills will get it done you guys are so close every time yeah. um, it sounds good i mean i feel like uh I don't, i'm not with the storybook endings or the things that sound right but it's just you know what i'm saying hopefully it happens and you know doing everything you can is probably the main thing but shit we've been at it for three years so kind of getting to that point where hey what are we doing now we got to try to make this thing make sense and figure out what's what do you have a specific player in the league that's like your favorite to compete against mm. Nah. No. Anybody not at all. can get it for real. Anybody? <laughs> I love that. And what would be your worst stadium that you don't worst like to stadium. play in? I don't know. I don't I don't particularly don't like stadiums, but a safety hazard has it in mind that I I mean I like I like playing there as well. It's Philly. You know what I'm saying? Philly? Philly Philly fans get a bad name and they are bad, but like I, I like playing there. It's, it's it's fun there and it's competitive. As long as they keep my family safe, don't touch nobody, everything's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. The competitive nature is all good. Who is your Super Bowl prediction? I like KC. The Eagles have a great team. Jalen Hurst has played some amazing ball throughout this year. Uh, I played KC. I haven't played uh, the Eagles to know, so I'm picking KC just because I've played KC and I know how good they are defensively with Steve Magnola. And they have one of the one of those quarterbacks, man. One of those quarterbacks that lead to him, and then they have a a creative OC that does, you know, the offensively driven team. So mm -hmm. yep. I'm leaning on Absolutely. Andy Reid. I like Andy Reid. I love Andy Reid too. Awesome guy. Do you ever um, see yourself one day maybe playing with uh, Patrick Mahomes or is Josh Allen your guy? Uh, Josh Allen my guy, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I can't I can't tell you what the future holds. Uh, I don't know about old Patrick Mahomes. They would, I don't think they would send me over there of any places if they would send me somewhere. So uh, maybe we'll see, man. You never know one day. Yeah. That's awesome. You must be a KC fan, too. I am. I'm from Kansas. <laughs> I can tell. You're I like, can tell. this girl's asking so many tell. cheese I can questions. Tell. I can tell. Yeah, I'm glad you said good things. What's it like yeah. actually playing at Arrowhead? Because the sound. It's good. It's fun. Okay. I mean, I feel like it's loud for sure. Uh, I always say that it's so loud that it's quiet if you're an athlete. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it's so loud that I just go into a space of, you know what I'm saying, kind of like euphoria in a way because I'm getting to doing what I love. Yeah. 
All right, so I have one more fun question to ask you. So some people have doubted your guys' ability to get to the big game, mm. to get to the big stage. So what do you tell these people that have doubted you? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really say much. Uh, I guess shit, at this point, they've had every reason to. But, you know, keep trucking, keep moving forward. Um, yeah, I don't know. You don't, I don't know? I don't argue with them. All right, that's perfect. <laughs> so you're here with Downey, yeah. and you know a thing or two about style and scent. Can yeah, you tell us what to. you're doing with Downey? Uh, right now, I'm... I'm getting my Honda Downey Unstoppables. They uh they actually do a lot of like perfume for your clothes. Uh, you throw them in there. Um, I actually have something they sniff it to believe it. So oh, I, I, I it's going to be the test. Like if you if it, if it smells well, then we'll see how it goes. Ooh, yeah, that smells bad, fresh. So, yeah. yeah. You have everything sniff it to believe it, and uh, I just like being clean, and I like smelling well. So you know. It's a, it's a good start, I guess. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being here. We really do appreciate yeah. your time. Thanks for having me. I appreciate yes. it.